Hi there, it's David Lenham at the Brentwood Bay Village Emporium. I'm with Lonnie Glass, bluesman. I think you can just say bluesman <laughs> sure, now. That's why like not? you can't say rock and rollman, but you can say bluesman. Yeah, absolutely. Even though you've played it all, yeah, I you've have. been there. I, I, this is interesting talking to you again. We chatted before on a television show I used to we host did, yeah. in 2014. Yeah. And I remember I was, uh, I, the way I kicked that off, I was so intrigued by your voice. Like your talking voice is good, but your singing voice. Is so cool, and I I, I I just want to remember what I said. I said it sounded kind of like Tom Waits punching Louis Armstrong in the neck. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> is that yeah, is that, that fair or what? Yeah. The, uh, cookie monster. Yeah, <laughs> or somebody had mini miniaturized Joe Cocker and just shoved him into there your mouth go. or something like, which no is kind of problem. awful, really. I'm, but you get I'm asked of, you get that. asked about the voice a lot all the you? time. It's kind of a trademark yeah. thing. It's really kind of the thing I. That is uh, my tra my trademark, my yeah, my thing. When people say anything to, about me, they, usually it's about the phone. You book. can do anything with that. You could just read yeah, the true. phone book with that voice, <laughs> and somebody's going to pay. I hope that's yeah, well, that's go. not what you're going to be doing at Emporium. <laughs> obviously, um, you uh, another thing that's really interesting. You fronted. You've had a, an amazing musical career. You fronted a, a ZZ Top yeah, tribute band for, for like 26, 26 years, years yeah. traveling all over all the over, place, uh, North America, Russia. Scandinavia. Right. Yeah, it's great. Now, I mean, that's sort of, their rock is derivatively blues based. It is. Yeah. But it's not sort of the pure blues. Not pure, no. That you're playing now. No, no, not you, at all. You kind of mellowed out. Mine a is, what, mine what actually has, uh, is, uh, I think when I, when I started writing, yeah. which was back around 1984, uh, I started writing my own material. Right. And uh, I just tended to gravitate towards a bluesier, I, th I think because of the vocal yeah. idea. And also, in the beginning, my skill as a guitarist was not that great, so it was easier for me to just do try and do some 12-bar bluesy mm -hmm. kind of things and, and develop a, a style. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I've, I've grown as a guitar player, and so I have a, a little more jazz influence as far as chords and stuff. So it's kind of a mix of, uh, it's kind of, for, uh, bluesy, bluesy, jazzy. And and you were doing some co-writing. I, I remember yes, there was a story about. Yes, I have a great co-writer in uh, Virginia. Yeah, who you who you didn't meet for a long time, but you I guys still, are still haven't met. Oh, you've <laughs> never met him. No, we never met. <laughs> We've written uh, seventy songs together. <laughs> are you ever going to meet? What's going to? Can we be there when you do? Uh, can we uh, do it at the well, Emporium? Well, I hope I'm there when, when <laughs> it happens. No, we, we 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 know what each other looks like mm -hmm. through Facebook and stuff, but. Um, I think I'll probably Skype him one of these days. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> say hi. His, his name is Norman Ball. He's just great. Nice. You uh, you saw Elvis Presley 1957. live, 1957 Maple Leaf Gardens. Yes, I did. So My I, mom you took were, me. Yes. Well, yeah. you were a kid, but was it was it a, a life changing moment? Absolutely. Was it? I, I was always a a performing kind of kid. You know, when the folks were over, right. I'd always put on li little plays with my brother. And uh, but when when she took me to see Elvis, I just immediately thought, I I want to be on stage like that. But, but and then just l l a little while later, I saw the Beatles, and that's when I really went, oh, I got to be a musician. You play solo here, here at the Emporium, but you also play with another guy as Visions of Gumbo. Is yeah. that right? Is yeah, it Bill great. Holtum? Is that Bill Holtum. And, uh, and he's great. What, 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 what's Bill like? What, what kind of a player is he? Bill what does he bring is, to the mix? He's beautiful. He's, he's, he's got every kind of chop that you can think of. He can play really uh, aggressively, but he's got a beautiful, beautiful jazzy blues. Like, he brings the blues beautifully. He does great slide player, uh, tasty. His licks are beautiful. I just adore mm -hmm. playing with him, and we connect great together. You guys have been playing for a while, too, right? Well, I, I met him. Uh, he he was living in California, and he moved. He's from Toronto, but he was living in California. He came up here, and I was from Toronto and came out here. So 2011, I just met him at a, a jam, and uh, we kind of hung out a little bit. And and it just about a year later, uh, we just decided to... Uh, see if we could do something as a duo. And so it's connected great. And we have a drummer now, so we're, we're doing it also in the club, so it's a little heavier. Nice. But So we have the, the options to play coffee houses like the Emporium or uh, a little bigger clubs. But 
We, I love playing with them as a duo. We just have a real, because I don't play bass, which I do in the, the other bands. I play my acoustic and he plays his Fender Strat, and it's a real nice combination. Don't need a penny for your thoughts. I don't have to be a seer. To see the sadness of magic Of making love disappear Not a problems I got deep inside Gonna run their own damn course I've heard your dissertation About the problems of divorce You just emptied a barrel of monkeys in my gut Make my inside feel like a paper cut On a rugged road I run I'm always in a rut Oh, she emptied a barrel of monkeys in my gut to file commitment papers give them to the bastards that stole my dreams all reality starts blinking and I wake up in the screen joke is on me baby I missed the last call was that just the ring of empty silence? Was it laughter down the hall? Oh, the empty the barrel of monkeys in my gut. Let my insides feel like a paper cut. On a rugged road I run. I'm always in a rut. She emptied a barrel of monkeys in my gut A barrel of monkeys A barrel of monkeys Oh, in my gut She emptied a barrel of monkeys in my gut